Okay, I'm gonna show my new baby, my new toy. This is the KitchenAid. I'll just come right here. Uh, the KitchenAid, this is the Artisan, Artisan stand mixer. This is the, it's uh, Artisan design, I believe. Uh, the difference being is it's $50 more, but you get the glass bowl and you also get uh, the beater, not the width, but the beater is metal instead of plastic. Those are the two differences that I found. Um, the glass bowl by itself, everywhere we've seen it, is $50 anyway. So I've been getting a $50 upgrade. And the metal beaters, I haven't actually priced those out, but I would assume the metal ones are more expensive than the plastic ones. So, um, lay it down. Uh, one thing before I go into it, we, this is regularly, the, the regular artisan mixers are generally $350. Uh, this one is, like I said, $50 more. It's a $400 mixer. Um, the, we got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. You know Bed Bath & Beyond loves their coupons, the coupons, the big ones, the ones that are like this big, as big as your head. Um, we had a 20% off coupon. So with the 20% off, we actually got this for $320. So you, you can't beat that. I mean, it still sounds expensive for a mixer, but we like to bake, we like to, to cook things and things like that. So uh, it'll be a great help for me. So, um, they also gave this refund, and I'll keep my name and address covered up, but they also, when we checked out, they gave us this refund um, form that we didn't even know about. And when we checked out, she said, let me go get your refund form. We're like, refund? What refund? <laughs> yeah. So we said, uh, the not refund, rebate offer, sorry, uh, a rebate. They, she said, let me go get your rebate form. And we said, what rebate? You know, we didn't know anything about it. So she brings it over and she looked and it's, um, for this particular mixer, you could get a free food grinder attachment, which we didn't care anything about, or you can get another uh, five quart glass mixing bowl. So we decided to go ahead and get another uh, glass mixing bowl just in case something was fell or something like that. So, so that's a pretty cool deal to get that free just for buying the mixer, you know? So, uh, you can't beat that. It's a $50 value for free. Uh, this one actually expired. This is their October 2013 offer. Um, I'm a guessing that if you, this one's gone now. Um, I would guess though, I would assume, but you know what they say, uh, that if you go into Bed Bath & Beyond and look, they probably have these where you can get them and you can see what rebate offers they have on other items. They had all kinds of stuff like uh, um, some of them aren't items, some of them are just like a $20 mail-in rebate, a $10 rebate, a $5 rebate. Some of them you get a knife set. There's all kinds of different stuff depending on what you buy. So check into the rebates. That's something we didn't think about. The oven's preheated. That's what the beep was. Um, nobody's exploding. So I'm going to open it. It's never been opened. And I do have to cut the UPC code off before I throw the box away. But we'll probably just keep the box anyway. One also thing, one of the reasons we wanted to get this uh, design, I think it's the design series. Does that sound right to you? Honey? I don't remember. I think it says on here. Um, no, it doesn't. I think it's called the Artisan Design, but I can't swear to that. But one of the reasons we wanted to get it too was because they make a red that's like, what was it, Empire Red? It's called Empire Red. Empire Red is more of a flat red color. It's more like... <laughs> it's more of a flat red, like uh, it's not a metallic at all. It's just a flat red paint. Well, this one is candy apple red. So, uh, and I actually had a candy apple red 1969 Volkswagen Super Beetle when I was growing up. So, uh, I have a love for candy apple red anyway. So, I might, uh, let's see, am I going to be able to get this out by myself? I'll tell you what, I'm going to lay it, I'm going to lay it on its side and slide it out. Probably not the best way of doing this, but. Be careful, because that glass ball is there. I'm going to take, uh, this one there. take this off. And I'm going to sit it up. Well, This part looks like it comes off. There's the wire whisk. 
That's nice. Nice uh, whisk. This port slides off. Trying to do this without dropping something. Okay, this is a piece of styrofoam around the bowl, so it's really packed well. I'll tell you that. They're uh, they're gonna make sure it doesn't break. That's for sure. I've seen so many things that were packed poorly uh, that may not have broken, but they were not packed very well. Did you and say I, artisan design? Because it says it right here. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what I thought it was. Um, tilt that up. Off the noise. And there, that's a huge. <laughs> I'm not used to. If you've seen any of our other videos where we use the little black, uh, I don't know, sunbeam or whatever it is, sunbeam. mixer, it is a teeny tiny thing. This one's huge. One thing I also like about this, this one actually has the measuring um, lines uh, on the side. That one is, I guess, it in looks liters. Like 12 cups. Is no, that's a liters. This is, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, 12, 12 cups. cups. Wow. Yeah, 12 so cups. So the small, there's one, two, uh, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So. So it does have a one mark too. That is really nice. I like that. And to get another one of these for free, mm -hmm. even just to use it as a mixing bowl, just in general, that's pretty cool. So um, I can't imagine me not liking this so far. I like it a lot. Uh, one thing this one does not come with that the regular artisan one did, which was not a big deal to us. We didn't care. Uh, this one doesn't come with the plastic pour shield that goes around the glass bowl. I guess because it's the glass bowl. Uh, the metal balls have that little plastic shield that you can pour flour in and stuff. And we were both like, we'd much rather have the glass ball than this pour shield and that metal ball where you can't see in it. You have to kind of look down inside of it with this. We can actually look to make sure it's all coming off the edges and stuff. Uh, but anyway, you saw the whisk. And this is the, there's the beater that I was talking about that's metal instead of plastic. All the other ones are, are like a white plastic. This one's uh, aluminum feels like so that's pretty cool that that'll I would think that that would hold up a lot longer than a plastic one would and here is the there's the dough hook and um, I like to make breads and stuff and I don't get an opportunity to make a lot of breads because the mixer we had before just wasn't up for the job it didn't have enough power to it so this one's really nice um, you lock your bowl in like this or I guess you can go from the other way um, you put your attachment on here you just slide it on and slide it up and it pops right on um, you close it and then your your latch for raising and lowering is right here and then you've got oh it's a little heavy you've got speed control there's off and there's just stir and then there's your adjustment it's got a 10 speed um, motor in it love the color um, it does have the replaceable uh, bushings if you ever your uh, motor ever goes needs the bushings replaced in it and then this is for, if you did have um, attachments, they would slide in there. Uh, we will not have attachments anytime soon, if ever. So I'm just going to tighten that down and keep it right there. So I love it. I'm going to clean off all the little foam balls off of it. And it looks like it came with, hold on one second. It looks like it comes with a pretty decent um, instruction and recipe book. It's got a... You know how to use it and uh, it is in Spanish and in uh, actually is that even Spanish? I don't think it's Spanish. I it's something else. Um, anyway it comes with the directions oh, on the, oh Spanish Span English is that's France oh, French there's English oh. so it's really not that big <laughs> it's fools you because there's like 10 languages in here uh, the actual instructions are only like, I don't know, 20 pages long. So that's just instructions how to use it. And I think the recipes are back here. There's some recipes and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, at least they give you some recipes. They're all English recipes. So no, they're not either. I'm telling you wrong again. Um, well, so you get about... Oh, these are all English. Sixty to eighty, so about twenty-seven recipes. So that's not bad. Um, plus, it's got all kinds of other information. Probably some uh, coupons and information about like there's a magazine. 
Um, there's the glass bowl, just how to use it, how to be careful with it, how to wash it probably. Um, there's the attachment sales brochure um, that you can look through and see what all the different attachments are. And there's, you know, they make they make tons of attachments for this thing. Um, spaghetti um, rollers and all kinds of different stuff. So, cool. I like it. I did notice that the ball, it says hand wash only. Oh, the wire whip. The wire whip you should only wash by hand. So the wire whip I've got in there right now, don't wash it in the dishwasher to cause it to warp. So uh, it's a good thing to know. So cool. I like it. Now you'll get to see it in action next time we cook something.